Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch this game or if the game is crashing, freezing, or if you're facing black screen issue with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this, make a right click the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now over here, you can see the game exe file. Make a double click over here, try to launch the game from here and then check. Still not working, make a right click and then go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working, this time over here you can select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click, launch the game. Now still not working when you put a check on all these boxes then in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game file now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to select the right audio device and microphone in windows settings so you can make a right click on this window uh, on this speaker icon and then you can go to sound settings and make sure your speaker is selected so whichever speaker you want to use make sure that you select your speaker over here and then also select the right microphone so make sure that you select the mic right microphone now you can also press windows plus g on the keyboard windows plus g press windows plus g when you press windows plus g it will open game bar on the keyboard so here you can see game bar let me open it once again now once you open game bar now click on this audio over here and then you will see make sure that you select your audio device whichever head if you're trying to use headphone you can select headphone whichever speaker you want to use select your speaker and then go uh, scroll down and if the game is running in that case make sure that you're once the game is up and running you can press windows plus g on the keyboard and you will see the game make sure this is not on mute uh, you can just drag it to 100 and then go to voice and select your microphone. So whichever microphone you want to use, select the right microphone over here and then you can check. You can relaunch the game and then check. Let me close the game. Now it's still not working. The next step is to Windows security users allow the game exe file to Windows security. Now for this open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, go to Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add and allow app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder select the game exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then you can check now still not working the next step is to if you have any third party antivirus program like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia now select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your operating system select your graphic card over here and then 
click on find and on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver at the very top geforce game ready driver right now it's 580.88 whichever is the latest you can click on view and the, then you can download this file and then you can run this exe file now once you run this exe file uh, you will see uh, you have to click on yes and then click on ok and then click on agree and continue over here select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on next and after the clean installation is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added you can scroll down find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game for gpu preference set it to, set it to high performance you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game and then check desktop users uh, connect your hdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make that active in the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 over here now launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down download this x86 file and x64 so click on x86 and then you can run this exe file download this x64 file as well and run both the exe file just click on it and install it install both the files once installed then rest if you see the repair option when you uh, when you're trying to install if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install install both the files and then restart you can be restart is a must after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected unplug hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter if you have extra controller connected sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected uh, disconnect controller and then check disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disable steam overlay now for this you can make a right on the game select properties turn off the option which is enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay do not overclock set your overclocking to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after burner revert you know anything running close it close all the third party services and application and then also close it from the task manager if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working make a right click in the game manage uninstall now after the uninstall restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel